In today's video, which will be filmed over the span of five days because I don't need that much caffeine in one day, I will be trying all of Starbucks holiday drinks this season. Um, it is Monday and I decided to go with the um, eggnog drink because I don't have anything to do for the rest of the day. I'm lactose intolerant and I might not like eggnog. So if I don't like it, it's okay and if I do like it and then have a poor reaction because it's not like you can get lactose free eggnog unless that's a thing that I didn't know about um it's okay that I have a poor reaction to it because I'm not doing anything um I will insert a clip here of what this looks like it's just a latte I don't think there's really going to be much difference between all of the lattes um thank you <laughs> Um, just in like the way that they look because it's a latte, it's going to be bubbly and they're all going to be roughly the same color because coffee. Um, but I've never had eggnog before in my entire life, let alone an eggnog latte that also has caffeine in it and it's like steamed or however you make a latte. I've never been a barista, so I don't know. Um, I don't think it's too hot anymore, but I did get the hot one because it's the holiday season, as you can tell, and um, it's kind of chilly today, so I wanted to um, have something to keep me toasty. So, here we go. Okay. It gets worse. It gets worse. The aftertaste gets worse. People drink this stuff? I, uh, I thought maybe it'd be better. Uh, people willingly consume this? Is it better iced? I don't, I don't think that would change the flavor. Okay, um, zero out of five for this one. Zero out of five. It's not good. I guess in a rating scale, it can't be a zero. So I'll give it one star. One. It's not good. And that's just my opinion. Um, and I'm sorry, Starbucks, if this doesn't make you want to sponsor me because this is not a sponsored video, but I, it, it could be. So, Ugh. okay, goodbye. Forgive me for looking like a trash heap today. Um, I have excuses, but I don't care to share them. Um, today we are trying the chestnut praline. I will say that I've already had some sips of it and I like it a lot better than the eggnog one that I didn't even finish yesterday. But so on like initial taste, it's kind of like a burnt, like smoky flavor, I would say. But then as you sip it, it becomes sweeter. Like that's, it's obviously like the chestnut taste. Um, but it becomes sweeter. I will say that I got it um, with soy milk, so that might change the flavoring, but uh, lactose intolerant. So, and I got it without whipped cream, but I think I think it's pretty good. I recommend it. I, I don't really have much to say about it. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. I'm trying the chestnut praline. Um, yeah, it's, it's really good. I, it's not like my favorite drink. I, I already know, I'm gonna end the week with the peppermint mocha because I love the peppermint mocha and I drink it all year long. But yeah, I really like this one. Today's drink is the caramel brulee. I don't like caramel, but I thought I'd try it. I will insert the video of what it looks like here. I got it with whipped cream today because I've been having a hard day so I wanted to treat myself and I think all the whipped cream melted, which is why it's so like, not full even after not taking any just sips of it um but even after even after the initial burnt taste it's still like pretty good i don't mind it 
I thought I would hate it because I really don't like caramel, but it's okay. So yeah. Yep. Okay, still looking ratchet. Like what is this? Um, but today's Thursday and we're trying the white chocolate mocha latte, I think is what it's called. Once again, I've got it with soy milk um, and no whipped cream today because I'm having a better day than yesterday. And it feels like it's gonna be really hot and it might burn my tongue, so let's see. It's very sweet. I don't really like white chocolate. Um, my personal opinion is that it's a lie because it's not actually chocolate. Um, it's super sweet. And you can like slightly taste the espresso, which is like a weird contrast against the white chocolate, but Overall, it's not awful. It's not my favorite. Okay, so I think my least favorite so far is the eggnog. Tomorrow's Friday, the last day, and I'm gonna get a peppermint mocha, and I already know that's my favorite because I drink it throughout the year. Um, so I'd say eggnog is number five. Um, chestnut praline can be number three. The caramel brulee I'll put as number four. And then I already told you what number one would be. So I guess this would be number two, but really the chestnut praline, this one and the caramel brulee are all like tied in second place. So I guess it would be like dead last eggnog, all three of those tied. And then number one would be peppermint mocha, but cheers. And we are trying the peppermint mocha latte. I got it iced with soy. Um, the soy is because I'm lactose intolerant and dairy's not great. And then the ice is because it's like 50 degrees today. So I wasn't, it's warm. I'm not going to get a hot drink, but, um, I already know I'm going to like it. I just did a taste test, but like I drink this year round. So this isn't for you. This is really good. I love peppermint mocha. I also love coffee and I it's nearly two o'clock and I haven't had coffee yet today, so. Cheers. Thank you for helping. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.